And so here we go again. The, today we're going to have a look at a program we did quite an in-depth look at some time ago. And it's malware bytes. But the makers of malware bytes, since I did the last video, have decided they would completely change the the, word, the layout and the the way that malware bytes works. And so here we are on the screen. This, if you just uh, update your malware, you, if you haven't already done so, you should get this version that you can see here. It's very simple to use. It's a lot faster than the older version, and it's a lot th more thorough when it goes through your computer. So let's have a look. We've got the dashboard here. License, obviously, it's a free license. Database version, slightly out of date, which we can, just by clicking the button, fix. And you can see the update button happening. So there we are. It's updated the database. I haven't run a scan yet today and real-time protection is available with the malware premium which is the one you have to pay for but uh, that aside let's have a look at the uh, other menus there scan menu you have three levels of scan in the free version two are available to you which is the threat scan which is a typical scan where it scans your hard drives to see if there's any malware present the custom scan you can actually pick out a certain folder be it your download folder or something like that and you decide where to scan it and when to scan it. It doesn't take very long to do that. It takes a, a few seconds if there's very little in the download folder or any other folder, in, in fact. It just takes a moment in time to do that. And it's well worth doing occasionally if you've got any reservations about maybe stuff you've downloaded and you think, well, there could be, in which case run the scan. It's always run better to run the scan than not. The hyperscan is available with the premium version which you pay for. I haven't paid for it yet so I'm not 100% sure what's entailed in that but I'll have a look once I've bought the uh, the program. Settings is the next menu button at the top. Now this can be quite complicated and again with this version I've got there's uh, quite a few which are blanked out so that uh, you can't use them in the free version. However, it doesn't take away th from the effectiveness of the entire program. General settings, notifications are enabled, so if uh, it finds something it will tell you. It will close the notifications, so in other words it's not obtrusive and stay there until you click it shut. It will stay there for 10 seconds or 11, 12, whatever. It can go stay there for up to 15 seconds on your screen to give you a chance to read it probably. If you're not really bothered, then you could set that at a pretty low number. You know, three seconds is a minimum. So as long as it's enabled, it will tell you. I'm quite happy to go around seven or eight seconds. That's good enough for me. Explore context menu entry, yes or no. I think I, I'd prefer it just to do that. So leave it as a default setting, which is yes. And obviously the language there, which is English or any one of a number of languages you can choose so you're not restricted just English alone. Okay, malware exclusions. If there is, if you find your malware detects a program which you have on your computer and it uh, finds it time after time after time, it can be a bit annoying having to go through and search for the one that you know is not malware, in which case you can add it to the exclusions page. You can add a file, you can add a folder, and clear it obviously, or clear the exclusions or remove individual items that are on there. I haven't come across that yet because Whenever I've run malware and it finds something, it's usually malware that it finds. So I'm not going to be adding any folders, I'm not going to add any files at the moment anyway. Web exclusions, um, this is not available yet because uh, this is only available in the full version. Detection and protection. Right, use advanced heuristics engine, which it does. In other words, it goes deep into the uh, files and folders, albeit for a microsecond, but it can dig deep. Scan for rootkits. These are the little, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the little bits and pieces which it can find, maybe just lying on your hard drive waiting to activate or whatever. It scans for them anyway. Scan within archives. Yes, if you've done a backup and you've backed up a load of malware accidentally, then it will scan it and it will find it if it's in there. Non-malware protection. Potentially unwanted programs or pups detections. Treat the detections as malware. There's several choices here. You can ignore the detections. You can warn the user about detections without doing anything. Or you can treat the detections as malware. That's a default setting and that's the way I shall leave it. PUMS, P-U-M's, potentially unwanted modifications detection. This is where somebody will put a, pro or a bit of software on your computer which will change maybe your 
uh, web page or change some setting that you have already on your computer. Treat them as malware. Get rid of them if you've got them, unless you want them, obviously. Malware protection is enabled. Malicious website protection that is disabled and again it can be enabled with the full version so for the 15 pounds or slightly less than that now maybe but for between 12 and 15 pound it costs for the program you get an awful lot of uh, extra bits and pieces so uh, run it free by all means but if you're going to use it for long term then uh, let's buy it yeah update settings notify the user if the database is out of date more than one day the old version used to be, I think, eight days, anything eight days out of date, and it would update. I want the latest stuff, and I don't care if it takes five seconds to download it, then, uh, yeah, I want the latest one, so I'll keep it at one day. Proxy settings, no proxy setting, or you can do a manual setting if you know your proxy server ports and uh, addresses, etc. If you ha use authentication, you need to put your username and password in, but most people won't bother with that. They'll just uh, know proxy servers. History settings is the next little tab. Statistical data helps to fight malware by anonymously providing historical information. This sends a little file off to malware people. Now, this file j doesn't contain any person. It just warns them that this is maybe a potentially unwanted program or uh, modification, and it will send the data just to... The, the labs for them to have a look at. You can choose not to export log information or you can log information. Choice is yours uh, but if you want to beat this malware that keeps coming up export the log so that they can have a look at it and you might find some unknown malware which you've sent off. Access policies again this is available on um, the uh, full version so we can't really go into that on this uh, short demonstration advanced settings once again it will start malware bytes with windows uh, it will enable malicious website protection where malware antivirus starts so all the basic things are set here um, but again this is available fully and uh, obviously it's blanked out there because it's not available in the in the free version automatic scheduling again that's available in the full version but you can you can set up this to run at particular times of the day, maybe uh, early evening, or uh, if you've got a shared computer and the kids come home, then just scan it before the kids take over the computer, and again afterwards if that's, uh, you know, just to be doubly self, belt and braces, so to speak. And there we have it. There's the uh, brief settings in there about, obviously, this is about the company, and it's got www.malwarebytes.org in there. Oh, sorry. If you're going to do any updates at all, just go to this site, check it out, and make sure you've got the latest versions available. And of course in there is the um, the purchase button as well. Just before we uh, move from this page, we'll just have a quick look at the history. It's very important. When it's, um, it's run a scan, and if, if, I, if it finds something, it will be you'll get a short list here in this uh, quarantine box. What I tend to do is if it finds a lot, it's greyed out at the moment, but if there is something there, you'll have restore it because it's a program it's found and it's a program that you particularly want. You can delete it individually, or anything that appears in there, you can delete all. Let's just very quickly um, go back to the dashboard, and I'll, I'll just start off with a quick scan. This is what you uh, this is what you get. You get a pre-scan operations. It's working. It can do system drivers, check all the drivers, make sure there's no uh, malware sneaked in. Done the master boot record, it's only a small file on the uh, edge of your hard drive, it does that very, very quickly. Physical sectors, these are the little sectors that store your drive's information. Memory objects, pretty self-explanatory, if you've got something stored in memory at the time of doing the scan, then malware bytes will find any nasty stuff in there. Startup objects, these are the uh, items that do appear sometimes in your start menu. It will check them out. And of course it will do the uh, the registry of ob objects that are in there. Anything in the registry which didn't ought to be will be detected. And then of course it comes to the file system. The file system obviously, as you've seen, um, takes a little bit longer to do. It's a heuristic analysis uh, which is pending at the moment. But at the moment it's just scanning through the entire C drive in this case. 
and it, if it finds anything then uh, it will of course come up so I'll, I'll leave this to run and uh, I'll just edit the pause out of this recording but just quickly while it's um, doing the scan if you buy it you'll get real-time protection you get malicious website blocking you get automatic updates you get hyper scans and schedule scans all these are the extras that you get out of the freeware the, the advanced malware detection and advanced malware removal is um, is what we have it for on the free version so if we wanted to buy that now it's uh, twenty four dollars ninety five cents which if we just put that into Google there ah, twenty four ninety five in pounds will give us fourteen pounds seventy in pounds sterling so that's all it costs is uh, fifteen pound to do a complete version of this of, of the premium version and of course that is not just for one computer if you've got your computer and you've got a laptop and your uh, wife or husband partner's got a laptop as well that'll do three three complete copies on one license so that's basically if you have three that's a fiver a year just to uh, to buy it um, it's a lot of peace of mind available for uh, for five pound isn't it now there's a little bill in Houston in Texas says over the past few months I've probably removed 5,000 plus infections from various systems so there you go there's a bit of a a praiseworthy uh, statement isn't it of course he'd have taken more care then perhaps he wouldn't have had 5,000 infections but never mind who's it for me to say there we are then see how the uh, the scan is uh, is holding up here I'll just nip back to the uh, dashboard it's doing the heuristic scan and it's already scanned uh, 272,000 over a quarter of a million files there we are it's completed its scan now malware bytes anti malware has finished scanning the computer scan completed successfully no malicious no malicious items were detected what a change from last time when I ran the uh, the first version of malware bytes and panic set in anyway that's um, this is the program this is the update and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this short uh, video and as usual if you have any requests and uh, ideas at plugit.org is a great place to uh, send your requests to and of course this will be on YouTube so please subscribe to what we've got here and you can see all my videos as they uh, go online I will be doing a very short video on how to set up your account in uh, YouTube so that you can subscribe but please subscribe to my channel Howard L Hall and uh, let's get as many hits as we can thank you for listening